Hey, this is Dow Too Fast here, and in this video, I will show you how to use the uh, Elm 327 OBD reader uh, along with the uh, Torque program for the Android to reset a check engine light. Uh, my friend brought this car over as a Nissan Titan, and he's, he knows that he has a problem with uh, one of the uh, catalytic converter, uh, but he just wants to uh, see if he can reset it, run it for a few days, and see if it comes back. So I'm going to do that for him. So let's uh, let's start the process of doing this. I plugged in the Elm 327 at the bottom here uh, to the OBD uh, connector. I'm gonna start the car up. So as you can see, the check engine light is on right now. So let's get the uh, torque program open that I have here. Okay, so this is the uh, torque program running on my Android. Uh, right now the uh, OBD is solid, it's not flashing, so it's showing you the uh, Elm 327 is uh, communicating. Let's do the uh, check fault codes. I'm going to refresh this. So it's now scanning. Fifty one percent. Hope you see that. It's a P zero four two zero power train catalyst catalyst system. I'm gonna reset this so we'll go to menu top right corner. And then there's an option for um, clear faults on ECU. So let's click on that. You should only perform this action after the fault has been fixed. And read the uh, disclaimer there. I'll press OK. Please wait. Cleaning fault codes. And then goes through a status 38%, 61%, 74%. And it's done. So, just want to quickly show you this um, procedure I used to uh, clear the check engine light. As you can see, it's cleared now. So, my friend's going to drive it for a few days and see if the code returns. If it does, then he's going to have to um, look into further and find out what's going on. All right, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. And, uh, and if you like the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching.